kind of walked around the whole of Burryport. It, it does have like sort of memorial hall in the harbour. Hmm. Well now. Has um it used to be a tunnel underneath and that's where they used to bring all the treasure. But there's another reason we're coming here. Yeah. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the channel. My name is Mike, you are watching Spud Boys TV. This is Aaron. Aaron, David. Aaron. We are currently in Burryport. So we've had an awesome adventure where we've got down here, we've shared that with you. So now we're gonna go check out Burryport Town. Town that we're gonna go have a little look at their town centre and we're gonna see what mischief we can get up to. Mischief. <laughs> No, but um, this is the last bus going into the town, so no matter what happens, we're going to have to walk back. Which is not too bad. So, just on the corner there, that's where we're staying, and this is the amazing view, as you can see. Look how beautiful it is. I don't know what's down here, though. It looks like some sort of Jurassic Park. But um, around 9 o'clock, apparently, the sea comes in. Now, hopefully, we'll be able to catch that, because we might go back down the harbour. Yeah, about nine o'clock in here the sea comes in, he said. Yeah, he said the, the full tide should be in by nine. Yeah, so hopefully, you know, we can catch the thing. But I think the most important thing about this vlog is we're gonna go find some food. We are gonna be like two proper cavemen and we're gonna forage. Forage. For the mixed grill, a large mixed grill with extra mixed grill. Forage. <laughs> <laughs> so Aaron, how was your bus journey? How was that? It was spud with right there. Bustling. <laughs> Um, I get a silver spur. Yeah, it was alright, wasn't it? It, came in, it, was, it was pretty good. But we just realised how far we actually walked earlier. Yeah, we've, uh, <laughs> we've burned this, some calories today. Because this is where we started earlier. We started just down by here, where we got off the train track. Or the train station, sorry. Um, ow. And, uh, and yeah, and then obviously we went down the harbour and we walked about two miles away. Six miles. Well, six miles we've walked. Yeah, so now we are going to go check out what Burry, Burryport town has to offer. We're going to have a little look around. I think a lot of places are shut, to be honest. But, look on the road here. You know, we'll have a little explore and we will see what's going down in Burry town. So now, we're going to go and have a look at the, the very small town of Burryport. It is... It's very small, isn't it, by the looks of things. Yeah, it's not going to take us a lot of time to walk around the actual uh, town itself, I don't think. You can see where you've sunburnt your head. And if we take off my hat, I have exactly the same thing. Not too bad, though. Right. Oh, Dr. Pepper tastes so good. Look at that, mate. They sell train tickets in there. Where? It says, on the sign, the big sign. We sell train tickets. Like a furniture shop with like oh, loads of antiques. We drink from a pirate's head. Mmm, delish. We haven't done a sniff yet. I don't think I can reach this. I can smell them from here. Well, the flowers. Yeah, you smell that? Yeah. I haven't done a sniff. A proper Spud Boy sniff. Oh, they stink. <laughs> so chippy. I am. Hello. So we've got some bars here, we got, looks like a biker bar, the Berry, Berryport Motorbike Club, that's quite cool isn't it? Hi. you got like a local chippy, apparently the people said it was really nice isn't it, loads of people queuing outside for it. Yeah they're all queuing up, they seem to love it. <coughs> Shall we? <laughs> it's a good bar place. I like this can't be the town, surely. This is not. It goes up a little bit more, but I think I'm this... sure there's more shops in it, surely, yeah? No, I think this is pretty much it. Oh my god. <laughs> but uh, we'll go What's to the end. The Greek restaurant? The Village Green is just. Ah, okay. Oh my god, this is the shortest vlog in the world. <laughs> Mike, this is the shortest vlog you've ever made. We just explored the whole town of Burryport. <laughs> but don't worry. We're not going to end the vlog there, don't you worry ladies and gents, we're going to keep it going because we're still going to get some food we're going to end it in the harbour with the sun setting, the tide's coming in and it's going to be very romantic and me and Aaron are probably going to kiss 
No, we're not. We're not gonna kiss. <laughs> ah, there's a police station with the one police car. Bodyport, small town of Wales, where nothing ever happens. You'd be surprised, probably. Yeah, probably. Snowden House. It's like a mansion, and that is a cool kind of like cenotaph memorial thing, which is not far from the actual main the main street we've walked down. It is... Ah, it's all about the Amelia Borhart. Yeah, this is built for her, yeah, I think. Yeah, she was the first woman to fly across the world, wasn't she? Or the Atlantic. The Atlantic. She and she crashed, me. and she crashed. In the, um, where opposite where our hotel is, she crashed in the sea. Right there, didn't she? Yeah. Which was interesting. She survived though, didn't she? Because she, she had like a water plane. She didn't crash, she landed. Yeah, it's like one of the planes from the Indiana Jones movie. It's interesting, isn't it? Here we go, what's this? Oh, she's from Boston. Erected in... Oh my god, common... Common... <laughs> what's it say? What does it say? In common mortician of Miss Amelia Earhart of Boston, USA, the first woman to fly across the Atlantic Ocean, who, with her companions Wilma Stultz and Louis Gordon, flew from Tripassi, Newfoundland, to Burryport in 20 hours and 49 minutes in a seaplane named Friendship on June 18th, 1928. That's why down there, do you know there was a sign saying New York? There was a sign going to that place there called Tripassi. Because oh. uh, I remember I made a joke and I was yeah, like, oh, yeah. Trapassi, yeah. where, where the hell's that? <clears throat> that's why, that's where she flew from. That's interesting, isn't it? A little bit of inf interesting information. Yeah. Hey, mate, right? Good, man. Good. Would you, anything you recommend we go and have a look at? Yeah, it's really good, isn't it? It's really interesting. Don't you have fun, I'm going to see the Queen is a black person. Don't you have fun? What was it, sorry? Queen is black. The Queen plaque. Oh, plaque. the plaque. Yeah, we that's what we seen earlier, didn't we? But we didn't know this was here, see? Mm -hmm. Is there more town to go and look at or is it just, is this it? Yeah, we're just having a look at the town we are, because we've seen this little town down here. Is there more? Is there more to have a look at? Nothing much here. No? Ah oh, you got this! This is amazing. This is such a, an interesting thing. Pub, pub, uh, two pub fifty yeah, a two for fifty a point. That's not bad, is it? Not Which bad. one's that? The one mm. on the corner, is it? For the biker bar. Uh, put well off. Okay. Put put well off. All right. Yeah. yeah. So that guy was really really nice. He was telling us about. Do you know the cars we've seen on the beach? He was talking about like um, how like people would uh, would go out to get cockles. And sometimes they would they get stuck. Oh, there's a taxi there, mate. Called Harbour Taxis. He was nice. We we did have a bit of a bit, little bit more of a conversation, but I didn't want to film it because, you know, I, I didn't really understand what he was saying most of it. But he was he was a nice guy. Well, anyway, he was quite friendly. He was lovely. Look old. And he old made a joke. He made a joke about people touching his cockles, which is quite funny. These are awesome. These are. I love. <laughs> I love these things. Yeah, so we've entered like a memorial park, obviously with a cenotaph. Everywhere you go, every small town in Wales have one of these. I'm pretty sure in England and in the, in the UK has one of these. It's amazing. Oh wow, look at that, people make the stones and everything. They got one everywhere to remember the people of World War One and World War Two. So yes, we thought that was very important to come down and have a little look at this. But to be honest, it's a TARDIS. Yeah. <laughs> this is someone's garden though. That's awesome, isn't it? What, what would you just be able to do? Just call the police in it? Yeah, they used to throw them all around London and stuff and cities really. Why is it a red one? <laughs> is it blue because it's Doctor Who or is it just... I don't know, I ain't got a clue. I don't know. I don't, oh, I don't know for the fucking your music. Yeah, probably like... Burryport Memorial Hall and Institute. Sounds like I'm not gonna walk in, I'm just gonna go see what it says on the door. 
Oh, it's just numbers. Okay, we're not going to go in there because it sounds like someone trying to do piano lessons or something. Yeah, might, might do. A piano, mate. Piano. Piano. You're good at playing piano, aren't you? Um, I've only been playing for like four months. You're really good. <laughs> we got the the Berry the Burryport Church. Oh wow, it sounds amazing. It's so peaceful, isn't it? There's no one here, mate. That was my worry about doing a roulette adventure, man. Going somewhere where there's nothing going on. But it looks like this is someone's house. Yeah, the people can do it. Please. That's amazing. Yeah. I'd love to get in there and have a little wander around. Get in there. Oh, the gate's open. Shall we have a little look, see? Have a little, little peek before we go down this. Bury new what were you? But Bury Port. Yeah. That's Bury Port Alley. Um oh it just leads into a car park. The thing is pictures of kids pictures on the wall so I honestly thought that was gonna lead us into somewhere interesting and exciting. What do you think? I just knew it was gonna be a car park. <laughs> <laughs> I had the car park vibe. But Mike's more optimistic than me. Oh, I'm very, I am very optimistic. What is that? <laughs> Let's do a sniff. <laughs> well, we have come to civilization once again. Got kids with no clothes on, great. And down there, we look like we've got some sort of. I don't know what's going on. I don't know what's down there. But well, that goes back to the bottom of the town now, right? Okay, we could have a look. It looks like there's nothing down there, though. Can I just stand over by this wall just to see what's on by there? We're going to get battered now by the local local uh, body port youths. Hey mate. Oh look at that mate. Gia. What's that mean? So that would be King George. Oh wow, okay. It's unusual, isn't it? You don't normally see that. Gia. Yeah, uh, Elizabeth or Victoria. Yeah, normally I've I've, oh, I've only ever seen V or or E. Oh, that's a Balti. Yeah, so so this is basically the street we walked down earlier. I'm just gonna have a look to see if there's anything worth. Since we just come down from there, basically, no, nothing there. So we've come to the decision that there's nothing down here. So we're going to go back and try and find some food in the small town of Buddy Port. Art! Someone writ on it can't catch us. So they must be some sort of the local gangs. So what have we got here? We've got some... Oh, a chari oh, bro, this is a charity shop. Oh man, I wonder what the Burryport charity shop's like. Look at that glass. It's pretty cool, isn't it? It's like an antique charity shop. You can't even touch it in the shop. Yeah, Please don't it. touch. Antique, 50 quid though. That's not really charity, is it? I think what makes this harder, right guys, is that everything's shut. Because it's quite late now. What time is it, mate? It's about seven, isn't it? about seven o'clock so it's seven twenty it's making it harder to like explore the town when you can't really go in anywhere now uh, the town is really really cool it's very small and we've done it we've just done the town so now we're gonna go try and get some food and what's this bro Chinese. oh Chinese. Chinese give me some chow mein I love, a bit, I love a bit of chow mein. So we do have this little memorial garden here, and up by here, look. Got some awesome art on the wall. Let's go and have a little look at the wall. Got a biker bar here. So this is on the side of the biker bar, look. So that's to the beach. Oh, there's a bit more art down here, mate. That's pretty damn cool, huh? It's got the Coast Guard. 50 years of Burryport. 
It's like the lifeboat. Oh yeah, obviously because of the lifeboat that we seen earlier. That's friendship. That's um, the the. Oh, I can't remember her name. What's her name? Eckhart. That's the lady that travel around the thing. That's what the kind of plane that she flew in. Obviously we got the lighthouse. There is something else down there, mate. So yeah, yeah. We did. There is another thing. It does say to the beach. So I'm assuming it's connected to that. It's like another piece of art. Which is really, really cool, isn't it? I love seeing art when it's like representing like the history of where you're from and stuff. There you go, look. Mm -hmm. It's pretty cool, isn't it? So, oh, so is this the lighthouse that you can walk to? This is the one we went to. Oh, it's the one we went to, is it? So the car we went to is like by here. Oh yeah, okay, yeah, the car was there because we were by here. Uh, so I remember the glory hall was by there. <laughs> oh, wicked. It's interesting, isn't it? I wonder how long that would take someone to make. What do you think? Ten minutes for someone. Ten minutes. <laughs> Not long. And that there is the guy's signature. Jenkins at 2022. Awesome. See, people say there's nothing in Burry Board. Well, guess what, ladies and gentlemen, we just found some stuff. Hmm, does it smell of anything? It sounds like a good night out there if you want to take the lad out for a few beers. Yeah. Especially this biker bar. And then you got the Burry Port clock. That's pretty cool, isn't it? So we've kind of. We've kind of walked around the whole of Burry Port. It, it does have, like. To the memorial hall in the harbour. Hmm. What now? Um, we'll check this road by here. Okay, we'll go down here because there is a place down here that does food. There's also a place over there called Neptune that also does food. So, like, whatever, innit? Whatever. Because we do want to go back down to the harbour, don't we? And have a little. But as the sun sets, it might, it might make an awesome end right, to the vlog. So we've come to a place called the Sand Hills. I think we're only having a drink here because they do have a menu, look. Let me show you. So they do have a menu, but like there's also a catering van there which also does stuff as well. So I don't know, I don't know how it works to be honest. But it, it is up to Aaron. If he wants something to eat here, we'll probably have something here. But um, have a look at this view, man. This view is incredible. <laughs> Have a look at this view. This, the tide is slowly coming in as well. That's where we went earlier, if you, just to the point of view. That there. <coughs> Bless me. That there is the, um, that's where the crepe place is. That's where we had our jacket potato earlier. And then we went down the harbour, we walked down the field, and we walked all the way down there. And yeah. Oh, Aaron, what have you got me here, mate? It's strips of burger. Strips of burger? Covered in burger sauce. And so this sprint. is, by the way, guys, this is uh, what you call a Rattler. So there's about that much lemonade in it and about that much beer. <laughs> it's like hardly anything in it. And it tastes amazing. Don't know. What did you have? Um, it's an Indian pale ale done by a company called Beaver Town. It's a 5.2% bitter, double hot. I don't know what that means. I just learned from all my beer friends. <laughs> and all this, shit. this is lemonade and beer, double lemonade. <laughs> and a sneaky shot of vodka. Is there vodka in that? No. I, t I showed you, I'd taste it. You probably would, yeah. Maybe not like lemon cello. You'd probably get away with mm, that. Lemon cello. Good lemon cello. Hold on. So we are going to a place called the Neptune. It's just across the way. Apparently it's like a pub place and they do some a delish. <laughs> <laughs> they do some delicious um, meals. <laughs> so that's where we're gonna go now. And we're gonna go give them a give them a whirl. Is that, is that the way in? Uh, the that's the way in by there. Oh, that's that. a cool little podcast. A little uh, oh, I knew I shouldn't have said that, so I'll be on it. No, no, no. <laughs> I'm facing me, I am. Are you? Hang on, that's let me just... beautiful. How much does this cost? That's about 350 quid. Is it Sony? Uh, no, it's a DJI. 
It's beautiful, isn't it? It's a DJI Pocket 2. Really? It's good, isn't it? It's a good yeah, look. can you zoom in? You can. It's not very well, but like it's got a stabilizer on it. So if I turn it around, wow. look. You can zoom in. It's not very, not very good. Because it fits in your pocket, right? Yeah, hundred percent. Unlike any DSLR. So <laughs> yeah, and DSLR. you can do. So we are going to a place called the Neptune. It's just across the way. Apparently, it's like a pub place, and they do some a delish. <laughs> <laughs> they do some delicious um, meals. <laughs> so that's where we're gonna go now. And we're gonna go give them a. Give him a whirl. Is that, is that the way in? Uh, the That's the way in by there. Oh, That's that. a cool little podcast. A little, uh, oh, I knew I shouldn't have said that because I'll be on it. No, no, no. <laughs> I'm facing me, I am. Are you? Hang on, That's let me just... beautiful. Well, that was really nice. Just met, Ad, just met Andy then. We had a little chat and he was telling me about the interest. And he's got a friend who's a YouTuber called Fumu Lou. And I was like, oh, I've actually seen this content. That was really, really interesting. So, Andy, if you are watching this, mate, thank you so much. And hopefully we'll, we'll, have, we'll chat in the future, my friend. Mm. Oh, we've seen this early, didn't we? Yeah. It looks, de it looks different with. Oh man, look at the. How amazing it looks. He was full of good knowledge, especially about he the Titanic had, and the. Copper. He was saying this, yeah, the the, the 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 copper that they made the Titanic with was was mined here or made here. Yeah. He was telling us, oh, there's a hotel. He said there's a hotel around there, which is the best hotel in the world. I'm sure he said that. But that's where the, um, the lady, the the pilot. That's where she stayed when she when she landed, yeah. Oh, when she landed. Can't remember her name. Audrey Amelia, is it? So this is where we've chosen for our culinary meal. Pub, coffee shop, bar meals, all day breakfast. But um, it does look shut. It is. We're going to go check it out now. Let's go forward. So this is the menu for the Neptune Barn Restaurant. So we got some starters. We got some steaks. We got Neptune's Grill Ste steak breakfast. There's actually not much, really. Got some burgers and kids stuff, traditional stuff. But I'm gonna probably go for this. It's got lamb, pork, a gammon, rump steak, one sausage served with onion rings, fried egg, and mushroom. Starter, please. So the food just come. We we didn't think it would be that big, to be honest. But this is my my Neptune mix grill. It looks absolutely stunning. And this oh, is my double cheeseburger. Oh, you went for the double one, did you? Oh wow, look at the size of it. I think she put extras on to be nice. Wow. Onion chips rings. look amazing. These look proper proper chips. Holy smokes! Look at this. I yeah. will, I'll have to mate. Look at the size on her. As big as Mike's ego. Well, let's see. <laughs> let's see. I don't have a big ego. No, you don't. Oh. <laughs> nice. That's incredible. Yeah. The guy just come out and offered us more food. <laughs> I think he said sauces, didn't he? What did he never say? Oh, did he? Look at that. So you've had this for five years, have you, in this place? Yeah, we've been sitting and we've done it both sides. We've done it up both sides, yeah. Oh, wow. Hey, this looks awesome. You've got a little drum set. Is this where you have your dues and everything, is it? Well, we've done a couple of bands up there, you know. We've done a couple of that's awesome. <laughs> oh wow! How long did this take you to do? <coughs> Two years. Wow. We started, uh, we started. <laughs> That's really cool. Look at that. Oh yeah, like a glass. Oh, I do a pour over it. Yeah. So we still got a still got a lot to do up here. It's presentable, you know, for a minute. That's it amazing. Looks really cool, man. And then we did uh, the bar, the old bar, the old bar was here, <laughs> the old bar. See, hey, good advertising for you. <laughs> so I just want to yeah. say thank you to Martin and Les for showing us around the Neptune and giving us so much information about this place. There is a plaque there. Um, we're going to tell you about the history now when we're going to go on to our next little location, which is just down by there. But yeah, thank you so much. Oh, it's been, pleasure. It's been 
It's amazing. That's why we come to places like this. So you, no, no, because we don't. Know. Yeah, we will. Well, thank you, Les. Les. Thank you, Les. 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 Plenelli. Have your fish off big right off? Oh, I might bump oh. into you then. Just you in the pub up there, were we? <laughs> he's a boy. He's a boy. He's a boy. No, he's not. <laughs> yeah, so you were just saying, Martin was saying, like, this obviously place, this place used to be a, um, it was built by the people um, for the captains. So the captains used to come in here and the, the crew used to go in there. He said, I'm sure he said, like, 1841. But there's a plaque here. There you go, William McCrinian, 1807 to 1881. He was a civil engineer, harbour master, and proprietor uh, of Neptune Hotel. And this used to be for the captains, so all the captains. And he was telling me there was ghosts. You've seen some ghosts here, and um, you can smell like the pipe of the captains and stuff. There's a little girl, yeah, and there's a woman in white and stuff. So yeah, so that that was pretty random and incredible. So. Obviously, the whole point we come to these towns, like I said, is to, to find stuff out about them. And yeah, so much history. And this this Burry, Burry Port has so much history. It is incredible. This is why we do these things, you know? So we are going to try and go find a church. Because apparently Napoleon's niece is buried there. So we're going to try and find that plaque. I don't know, but this, yeah. This, so this is the Neptune in Burry Port. You can't miss it, because you literally come off the train station and you're right there so yeah awesome so Martin has offered to take us down to the graveyard it's like a plaster yeah. yeah jack of all trades you mate I am I think the sharpies are gone now the fucking age. Like a fit. We are We are out there, Yeah, we're in. You don't have any coppers around here, do you? Oh, yeah, we're in. These stations abandoned. <laughs> It is an abandoned building, but it's a castle. There was only one car in there when we walked Well, the police by. station. Yeah. It's dead of a little bit. Sorry, mate. Shit, my God. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Well, we're definitely swinging back here, Mike. I tell it. <laughs> is it true they used to make the copper for the Titanic here as well? Oh, I don't know where that works. Some fella told us earlier. Yeah, so Martin was telling us about, oh, I can't say it, Martin, what is it? Man, Gulli Bechi Bach. which means men with little hatchets. Is that right? Yep. And he was saying what they used to do was they used to make fires for, for the ships to come in, and as soon as they come in, they would basically murder them and steal all their cargo. <laughs> and the place where we're going, the church, has, um, it used to be a tunnel underneath, and that's where they used to bring all the treasure. But there's another reason we're coming here, isn't it? Yeah. Sorry, I, I might have told the story so much better than I did. Hot twist. Well, it's down to it. To get Napoleon Bonaparte's niece's gold off her, they chopped that up. Oh, <coughs> bloody oh my god. They chopped that up. But she had that much on it, she? Yeah. Bloody hell. Them disgusting Welsh people. <laughs> <laughs> so Martin's brought us down to the church. Look out this is a, this is amazing this church. Don't know if we can get in though. Oh we can. I'll leave it open because we're gonna be come back out, aren't we? Martin's gonna turn out to be a spirit and following a spirit or I don't know where they're doing so Oh, I'm sure you said um, Les was saying. I'm sure you said on the right, but he <laughs> said there was a plaque. Maybe it's the one in white. On the right was a plaque. I'm sure he said there was a plaque. Yeah. Let's have a little look. So we're currently looking for. Oh man, I'm walking over graves. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. So we're currently looking for the grave. 
wandering from the graveyard. But there's nothing on these. I don't know if I'm looking at the right side. Oh, they're that old. I can't really, I can't make anything out on them. Yeah, what's this one? Now, Les said they're on the right. This is David Williams. Oh. 1890, this guy died. What's this one here, man? Okay. <laughs> so we're currently, we're currently just exploring a graveyard, looking for um, Napoleon's niece. who was New Year in the car. She was 12 years old when they got her for her gold, and they weren't very nice to her. But these graves are proper old in terms of like, yeah, no, okay. I thought it might be another one. At least we tried. I think it's the memory of Lieutenant Colonel Colonel Coughlin, Coughlin and Adeline, her daughter, 12 years. This is it. Yeah. Both natives of France who lost their lives by the wreck of the ship Zajim Emma on. Um, as they were returning home from, oh, I can't say that word, Maricret. Yeah, Napoleon, look. Napoleon born apart? Yeah. The captain, oh, what? Uh, in December 1833, was wrecked the ship Brothers of Liverpool from, well, I can't say, Bra caused the death of five persons whose remains are also buried here. Oh, I think I'm standing on there on the grave, yeah? But I got it because you've got to read it. But there it is, guys. That's crazy, isn't it? That's Napoleon's niece. Mm -hmm. That's crazy. Adeline, yeah. Adeline, Adeline yeah. Adeline. Well. Wow. So this is information about the ch square and the church, Pembury Square and St. Ildid. It's got all the information on it, look. Oh wow, that looks awesome in the dark. Drama. <laughs> <laughs> What a legend. What an absolute legend. How incredible is this vlog turn? He's, he, he, what he's done now, he's gonna, he's gonna go back to his pub. Uh, which, by the way, is a legendary spud, which I forgot to say. What do you think? Yeah, legendary. Yeah, no, 100%. No. Legendary. What an absolute guy. I only walked out and they said, oh, where are you going? Because we said we might be going to the Lenethley tomorrow. Just go and check it out. Lenethley. Lenethley. And um, the guy was, and then he said, oh, what are you doing here? And we just started choking, chatting. And then they showed us upstairs, which you've seen. And obviously, <coughs> oh man, that was incredible. He, had, he knew so much history. Quite dark history as well. Like, did, I'm not sure if I mentioned it to you guys, but he was on about that place. Um, he used to, um, uh, uh, <laughs> there's someone called the Butcher. And it's, 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 I'm not sure if it was a ghost, but a Butcher, what he used to do, he used to poison people's meat. Mm -hmm. And he used to kill him. <laughs> and they tried him. What's that? He killed over a hundred people. Killed over a hundred people. And they trial tried and er tried and sentenced him in that very place because there used to be a courtroom in there. Like, what? How amazing the information is that? And we would never have known if we didn't go there. If we just bypassed it and carried on, you know? Anyway, so yeah, so basically I want to end the vlog on the harbour. Just down there. So we can just walk to the lighthouse. It won't take too long. And then Martin, the legend, said he'll drop us back to the hotel. So it saves us walking back. Fucking <laughs> legend. <laughs> oh, you, you, you fucking funny. He was actually, like, we're in that van, he was cracking me up. Yeah. Little things he was saying. It's funny. Right, ladies and gentlemen, we thought it would be a good idea to come down to the harbour just to get a last remaining shot of an epic vlog, by the way, 
I think you would agree this vlog has been absolutely epic. Um, it had, I can't, I can't see anything. I can't see anything. Oh, all of, you can hear all the people on the boats. That's pretty cool. So, we've gone down to the harbour. I'll flip you around. Again, you can't really see anything. Because we were going to go down to the lighthouse, but you're not going to be able to see anything. So, that's kind of like the floor and that over there. I don't know what that is over there. What's that? Over there, do you know? That's the yacht club. I don't know what the noise is, though. It's just boats creaking against the dock. So, ladies and gentlemen, I would just like to say thank you so much for watching the vlog. I do hope you enjoyed it. It has been an absolute eye-opener for history. The history in this place is incredible. And I am so glad we went into the Neptune and met Martin. Because he told us some really cool stuff. And he just took us down to go watch, see, you know, Napoleon... Napoleon's niece, who was only 12 years old when they killed her. And it's really such a sad story, really, isn't it? It is sad. Welsh people can be cruel. Yeah. Yeah, because obviously that story with the, the you know, it's the call the ships in, they used to kill him and steal all their stuff. That, that's a real thing, that actually happened. And it only happened around the corner, which is, which is nuts. So I do want to say thank you so much for watching the vlog. I do hope you enjoyed it. Um, Martin at the Neptune, thank you so much, mate, if you are watching this vlog. And Les, Les was a, a bit of a character as well. Um, I do want to say thank you so much for, for your hospitality and showing us around and everything. So yeah, so that's what it's all about, coming to these little towns, learning about the history and yeah, and sharing it with you guys. Can you meet? Whatever you said. Yes. <laughs> so yeah, so thank you so much and I will catch you all on the flip side, I can't really do the. That look crap. Anyway, thanks, guys. <laughs>